420 Things Grow in Ontario. Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and here's another tent build. Um, so if you've seen it, the unboxing, what it came with, the patches, the, you know, the, the tray, the, the poles and blah blah blah. I'm going to put this together. I am going to not look at the directions, um, just for the amount of tents I've built. I don't know if I need the directions. That being said, that could be a mistake. Or it could be a jewel because maybe it's funny when I get lost and I'll get two videos. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, step one is I'm going to lay out the four bottom corner pieces. So there you have it, the four corner pieces. For you people who are following directions, that's the bottom piece. It has a D on it. But anyways. That's the corner piece. Holes here. Uh, no, holes there. Side. Boom. Next step, put in the poles in between those four corner pieces. Alright, so now that I got those two done, and for those who are following, one's an E. Okay, that's the long one. That's the four footer. And one's an F. That's the two footer. As you can tell, Kind of half the length. <laughs> Alright, next step will be putting the sides up. The two that uh, go together. The only ones. Every other one is like a, a male and a male. This was G and H, male and female. Oh, we have a visitor checking it out. What are you doing, cat? I want to check it out, eh? So the next step will be putting on the top and uh, getting the four corner pieces like on the bottom and then connecting the same F and E, I think is what it was on the bottom, but I'll get back to you with the exact letters once I put it on. So E and F is done. That's it. We got a square. We got the bottom square. Bottom square. And now... I'm gonna get this in the back same spot every time. It's a bit of a pain, but ooh, three adjusting. All right, there it is, all squared up. And you have the cross piece. Those ends right there, they snap on. This long bar, which is K, and it snaps on over there, and then just a short one here, one piece, and it goes across. All right, so the next step is to unzip the tent completely get the bottom of the tent on the ground and have the rest of the tent off to the side done next step will be to take the frame and put it in the bottom of the tent as you can see i started with the big side of the tent in the corner of the footings first i've got it there and i've only got it up to about here and then i'm going to have to wrap it around outside here. I would not want to put this side in first and then try to get the rest on that far side. So definitely that far side first, then this side. So there you go. Let me get a little zoom in here. So, as you can see, that one, well, you didn't see, but it went on super, super easy. This has all been done by myself, eh, guys and girls? One person install, that's it. So the next thing is, I'm going to want to take that far side and bring it to the top of the tent and uh, I'm gonna put that on pause and come back alright so I'm gonna try this what I'm gonna do is grab the tent it will wrap around so that's gonna go behind me but I gotta get it in here kinda of just work it around that's pretty easy almost there Caught up here. Let me just wrap this around. You would never want to snag on this. If it gets caught, it's probably caught for a reason.
Oh, it's not in this end. I'll make sure it's in the far end first. Before we go too, too far, crazy with this end, it would be too hard to get it on. Alright, so there, it's square on this far end. It's square on the far end. Now, it should be easier to get in here. Wow, that was it. Alright, and Shabam! Tenth done! All right, she's done. So we got one port here. Oh look, you can see the other side. There's another port on the other side. What did I say that's about? Six inches, I would assume. Not 100% on that. But maybe four, maybe six you get in there. There's a small one on the back. It's good for wires and stuff. That's what I'm gonna use that one for. Oh, another small one on the back here. Small one halfway through. One of these Velcro, you know, see-through things. There's one of those on that side as well. One at the back. One on this side as well. And another one of those ports. And then what you have here is also a viewing window here. So that's kind of cool. And then the zipper. So yeah, two by four with some height. I like it. Six feet tall. So yeah, guys and girls, that's it. Not very hard to put together. And uh, yeah, shout out to Mars Hydro. Check them out. Link in the description for this tent and many other items that they have on their eBay store. Go there, check them out. Uh, use the links there. Go over there and see what they got. I'll be uh, running the TSL 2000 in this thing again. Um, the other tent I had was short, it was cheap, it was not as good a tent as this, you can tell this one's, I, I've zipped it up two or three times here and man, easy. The other one I always had to play with it and mess with the zipper, the zipper looks good here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to put the TSL 2000 in here for this run, so uh, be on the lookout for that coming soon. I'm going to do a hydroponic system in here, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Nice tall, get it in the room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, and do all of that jazz. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess the video's not over. So, um, step two I did not do. I did it standing straight up. It wants you to fold it down. You've seen the video that I did with it standing up. Maybe it's a little bit easier on it laying down, but guess what? Standing up wasn't that hard either. So, uh, yeah, it, uh, it definitely can do it both ways. Uh, but I thought I'd share that with you guys, so I guess that's one thing I, I missed by uh, not following the directions. But the tent's super easy to do. So easy you don't even need directions. But here they are regardless. <laughs> Alright girls and girls, see you later.